Right. God says, look, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. Second John 6. Because that shows if you love God. I just wanna, I just wanna, I wanna be famous. Just like when you look at the brother's shirts around here, it's not hard to wear. He said he don't put curtains on the people. So, is a curtain a good thing or bad? It's a bad thing. Because for far too long, we've been coming out here uh, going by what the white man has taught us. I was thinking about that last night laying in bed. Yeah, watch this. Yeah. I'm going to show you what God said about that, though. You know the history of Christmas? What it's all about? Uh, just celebrating. You say Jesus' birthday. birthday. So who is Santa? Who is that? Oh, no. <laughs> Think about it. The word <laughs> Santa. If you rearrange the letters, it's Satan. Hey, you worship oh, the right. devil, right? Yeah, what color is the devil most time when red. they picture him? He red. What color is Santa Claus? What he got on? It's white, red, red. He got on red, no. right? It's, all right, watch this though. Read no. you Jeremiah 10 1. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Bring it out! Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. Unto who? Unto you, O house of Israel. So who is he speaking to right now before we continue? Make sure you house follow up. House of Israel. Hey. Who is the house of Israel? You. Oh, 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 you right? You see yourself on that yeah. sign, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you see yourself on the sign. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. What the first one say? Uh, Judah, American blacks. Do you, do you identify as American black? Yes. Yeah. That's you, man. You from the tribe of Judah. Oh, okay. right. Who else come from the tribe of Judah? Before I continue, you know? West Indian black. No, I'm gonna show you a very famous person. Get that, uh, you do. I'm going to show you the very, a very famous person that comes out that tribe of Judah. There's something special about being the tribe of Judah. I'm going to show you what it is. Okay. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrew, chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it out! Who do you think the most famous person that ever walked the earth is? Who do you think that is? Jesus. Jesus. All right, bring it on. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of what? Out of Judah. It says it's evident. It's, it's, it's evidence. It's proof that our Lord, who is who? Judah. Who is Jesus. our Lord? Oh God. The Lord, our Savior. Who oh. is that? Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, right? Came out of what? Out of Judah. That's the same tribe we come from. Mm -hmm. So that means Jesus is what? Black. It's black, right? Yeah, it's black. Black. Jeremiah uh, 10 and 1. Uh, verse 2. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. It said, learn all the ways. Learn not the way of the heathen. What the scripture say? We're supposed to learn all the ways of the heat? That's what it said? Yeah. Learn all the ways of the heat. Yeah. Read it again. He ain't here. Oh. Learn not oh. the way of the heathen. Oh. Learn all the ways, right? Yeah. All the ways of the heathen. We're supposed to learn everything they, they teach you, right? <laughs> yeah. Read it one more time. Pay attention. Pay attention. Oh, not, not, don't do it. Don't do it. Learn not, not the, way. the way of the heathen. Don't learn what the heathen are yeah. teaching us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, son of him, Barbara Dictionary. You know, son of him. Don't learn what the heathen are teaching us. Who are the heathen? You know? Uh, white man. White man? For sure. All these other nations are considered heathen. Matter of fact, scratch that. I don't even worry about it. Continue. Say, don't worry about the things of heaven, astrologies. What's your zodiac sign? Don't worry about the Capricorn. Oh, What's with the Pisces? Yeah. Don't worry about those things, right? No. For the heathen are displayed at them. Say the heathen. They love those type of things. Hey, you're a Capricorn and I'm a Pisces. That means we go good together, right? Don't worry about those things. It don't matter, right? No. For the customs of the people are vain. The customs, these traditions of these people, the heathen, they're vain. 
They're yes, saying that Jesus Christ's birthday is December 25th, but yet they got a picture of a white guy coming down the chimney. What they got to do with Christ? They'll say that Easter is uh, Christ's resurrection, right? But then they show you a rabbit laying eggs. Do rabbits lay eggs? Uh, they don't, right? Teach up. So what? what is this? Yeah, it's rain, right. right? That's what it's talking about. Keep going. For one cutting a tree out of the forest. So it's giving you a description of something that they do, a tradition that they do that's vain. They cutting oh. trees out the forest. Some for me, huh? It's getting to something. Let's see. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. I remember back in the day, they didn't used to put the trees together from the dollar store. They had real trees that they used to cut from the, from the woods, right? Read. They deck it with silver. They deck it, meaning they decorate it with silver and what? And with gold. What, what? What holiday is this? Where they get a tree out of the woods, they set it up in their house, and they decorate it with silver and gold. What that sound like? What sound like? That don't sound right. But but what holiday? You think about all the holidays? Christmas, right? But what it say in the beginning? Learn not. Learn not the way of the heathen. Say we not supposed to learn these things, but yet all the black people know that. But they don't know their nationality. But they know about the tree, right? Keep going. We know. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it moved not. So back in the day they used to have a stand so the tree wouldn't fall over, right? Because it was a tradition behind the tree. They talk about do good or do bad. The tree was supposed to, uh, if you was bad, the tree would come alive in the middle of the night and take away the bad kids, right? All these different traditions behind a tree. But keep on. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born. Say these trees, they... Ain't nothing, ain't no spirit inside the tree. The tree got to be carried around, right? So, we shouldn't be doing this, right? Get on Colossians 2 and 8. I'm going to show you one more. So, you say you're familiar with Easter, uh, uh, Valentine's Day, um, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, right? We just had that, right? You celebrate Thanksgiving? What you eat on Thanksgiving? Uh, uh, dressing. What about some ham? Ham and turkey? Turkey. Turkey. You ate ham? You eat ham? No turkey. Yes, turkey. But, but you eat ham? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so watch this. I'm going to show you something, and then we'll deal with the ham. Bring you go. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Beware. beware, lest any man spoil you. It says, beware. If you was walking into somebody's backyard, and they got a sign that say, beware of dog, beware of whatever, explosion. What do beware mean? Uh, be careful. Be careful, right? Have caution. Whoa, whoa, before you do that, beware, right? Watch yourself, right? Yeah. Beware, that's what? Lest any man spoil you. It says, let somebody come along and spoil you, meaning you were raised up right. Uh, according to the scripture, we're supposed to keep the commandments. Somebody came along and deceived us, right? So this is a warning. Beware. Keep going. Through philosophy. Philosophy. This person to come up and just say, hey, uh, two, two, two men should, should get married. Uh, you shouldn't be mad at that thing. Uh, you should no, no longer say babies, you should say babies. These are theories, right? These are philosophies of men. Oh. Teach I mean, you don't think like that. Somebody else came along and thought about that. Keep going. And vain deceit. Vain deceit. Clearly, uh, Jesus Christ wasn't born December 25th. They know this. You can look it up in the dictionary. They made it up. It's all pagan. But they, they know this and they keep putting it in your face, right? Because it's going to keep us at the bottom. I'm going to show you that. But keep going. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of the world, the world teaches us that these things, holidays and things, are the way of God, but it's not. Keep going. And not after Christ. Not after who? Not after Christ. So when you celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, it's not after who? Not after Christ. It ain't got nothing to do with Christ. That's We're supposed right. to be followers of Christ, right? Christ didn't celebrate uh, Christmas. It's supposed to be his birthday. He didn't celebrate Christmas. Uh, they were celebrating uh, Christmas, so-called Christmas, in the book of Jeremiah. Christ came along in the book of Matthew. New Testament, boy. right? Christmas was around before Christ. So how is that his birthday? So watch this. Um, what you got? Leviticus 11 and uh, 6. So you say you eat bacon, though, ham, right? You eat that type of things. It's delicious to you, right? Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to show you uh, that Leviticus 11 and 1. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse, verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. So who's the subject matter again? Israel. Israel. You. Read. Saying, these are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. So he going to get.
give you a description of all the things that you can eat. Out of everything that's on earth, you can eat these things that he's going to say. Jump down to verse 7, my bad. Verse 7, and the swine, though he divide the hoof. What's the swine? A wolf? Swine, that's a pig. Oh, that's a man called a pig, right? Oh, you look it up in the dictionary, oh, swine is a pig. Oh, okay, I've never heard of swine. Yeah, that's a pig. Oh, that's, that's, that's another crap another. account. They don't oh, call it swine no more, oh, they call it a pig. So, oh, you know, if you ever read the scripture, you'd be like, oh, well, I ain't eating the swine, but I am eating the pig, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Though he divide the hoof. So, a pig, if you look at his foot, it's like this. He divides the hoof, because that's the criteria you got to meet. You got to divide the hoof, right? And be cloven footed. He's cloven footed. He got a little tab on the back of his foot, right? Read. Yet he cheweth not the cud. He doesn't chew the cud. Made him eat grass, uh, regurgitate it, eat it again. They don't. He doesn't filter none of his food. He eat it and it comes straight out the back. Oh. All the toxins in the skin. Oh. Well, guess what we eat? Oh. Okay. Well, guess what people eat? Pig skins, right? Oh yeah. Keep going. He is unclean to you. He's unclean to who? To you. He's unclean to you. You're not supposed to eat that thing. Right. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. We're not supposed to eat that thing. But guess what? Guess what's on sale every time that you go to Save a Lot, Super One? All these stores that's in the hood. Guess what's on sale? Pig, right? How do you think that is? Uh, hold that and give me uh, in my pocket for, uh, what's that? Judith uh, 824? Not the other nation. 520. 520. I'm gonna show you that it's it's not it's not by coincidence that you can go in the store and they sell catfish, pork, all the things that's detrimental to your health. It's bad for you. Just for you. I'm gonna show you. And think about it. If you leave here, uh you'll see a church, a liquor store on every corner, right? You'll even see uh Arabs got shops everywhere. Targeting you. You go up in the Arab store, what kind of music they play? They playing all music, hood music, right? Why you think that is? Why they ain't playing Arab music? Why camels they ain't, camel uh, hop ain't playing? They playing hip hop, right? Watch this though, read what you got. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. So right now I'm about to read you the, the other nations. This, this, is that, this is that mind frame. This is the thought that they got when they think of you. Read what you got. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, there be any error, see Esau get mad. Any error in this people, right? Any yeah. error, any sin, right? Wrongdoing, read. And they sin against their God. If we sin against our God. See, he said our God. He didn't say everybody's God. Why do you think he say our God? He's only our God. I'm going to oh. prove that next. Oh. I'm going to prove that next. But keep going. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. It's saying, if these people sin against their God, it's going to be their destruction. They ain't gonna be able to rule the earth no more. Cause at this time we was ruling the earth. Right. They were jealous. So they said, what can we do to get these nations, get the, get the children of Israel to come back on the bottom, get them in the hood in the ghetto. Let's get them to fight each other, right? Mm. Keep going. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. Saying we gonna overcome them. All we gotta do is make them see. So guess what? I'm gonna open up a shop. I'm going to put it on Lakeshore. I'm going to put it everywhere. Everywhere that they at, guns, liquor stores, I'm going to put it right there. I need them to get drunk. I need them to hate each other. Each I don't other. need them hating me. I need them to hate each other. Because yeah. we hate each other, right? Yeah. They told yeah, us this no. thing. Yeah. Uh, you can go back to Leviticus uh, 11. So, you just discovered that we're not supposed to eat bacon. We're not supposed to eat sausage, ham, right? Pork. Lord, think of, all that. Yeah, yeah Lord, right? Watch Fred Sanford, he was going. What about? He was saying Fred Sanford or something that Lamar was trying to get him to eat. Uh, What's that? Something. Uh, don't eat lard or uh, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sausage and all that yeah, other stuff. Because it's bad for us, yeah. right? I'm going to yeah. give you another example. Keep going, though. Uh, get the fish. You, you eat catfish? Yeah. What about shrimp? I Crab? Yeah. Yeah, Lobster? Love it, love it. All right, watch this. I'm going to show you that it's not clean for you. Read your it's the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. So this is a dietary law for everything that's in the water. If you can go fish, if it comes out of the water, you're not supposed to eat it, or you're supposed to eat it. It's what I'm going to tell you, right? Read. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters. So in order for you to eat anything that comes out of the water, it's got to have fins and scales. They sell alligator down here. Do alligator have fins and scales? No. So we're not supposed to eat that thing, right? Uh -huh. But they sell it to us. Yeah. Keep going. In the sea and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So in order for you to eat anything that come out of the water, it's got to have skins and uh, fins and scales. Right. Catfish. 
Mm. He's got fins, right? Because he swims around. Mm. Do he have scales? Yeah. You ever you, you fish? Yeah. You yeah. never caught a catfish and yeah. got that yeah. knife and try to clean it? Yeah, oh, I'm scared of doing it, but I know it got scales. No, I don't have no scales. Oh, I thought no, I thought, no. Oh, nah, scales. other fish have scales. Teach y'all. Oh, uh, catfish don't have scales. They don't have no scales. Oh, no. Oh, just think about it. A catfish is a bottom dweller. Yeah, because you're talking about the scale that the yeah. head don't just well, smooth. It's smooth. You yeah, got to skim them. Yeah, skim them. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, they yeah, don't have no scales on them. Yeah, yeah. But think about it. What do catfish eat? Uh, uh, stuff in the water. Other at the bottom. They eat all the trash on the earth. Right? I mean, the in the water, right? It's the same thing with a pig. A pig was created to clean up the earth. But somebody came along and they taught us that a pig is delicacy. Pig need to be on sale in the black people's community. Cause think about it, man, you go across town to the white folks out of town, Whole Foods. They don't, they got uh, pork in there, but it's not a lot. They got all kind of healthy meats, healthy alternatives. They ain't really eating meat like talking about. But they put it in your community, they got a lot of pork, a lot of bad stuff. Think about this, uh, Ford, they make a car, right? Ford has a, a maintenance manual inside that car, right? It tells you what type of gasoline to put in and what type of oil. You say, hey man, this is my car. I bought the car. I'm going to put whatever type of gas I want and whatever kind of oil I want. I'm going to put diesel oil. Diesel fuel, uh, fuel in the car. What you think going to happen to the car? It ain't going to run right. It, it ain't going to run right, right? What are you going to have to take the car to? To get it checked out. What? Uh, to, uh, right. A doctor, well, a dealership, right? A mechanic shop, right? You're going to be in and out the shop. Man, I don't know why my car ride. Check engine light on. I don't know why. It's the same with us. We eat the stuff that God tells us not to eat. Give me that word. Say, we hold it. Uh, what's that? 2026? We eat the things that God tells us not to eat, and we in and out the doctor, right? Back and forth to the doctor. Man, I got high blood pressure. Man, I got diabetes. I got. Holy unto me. God says we're supposed to be holy to Him. What's holy? You know? Staying in God. Stand in God's word. That'll make you holy, but what's holy? Uh, talking about eat, stop eating bad stuff. That's, that's a part of it. Holy just means uh, being separate. Come here, my boy. Holy just means separate, means set apart. But let's see. Keep going. For I, the Lord, am holy. So he says we're supposed to be holy. We're supposed to be different from everybody else. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. We look different. Our hair is different. We smell different, right? We're different. Keep going. And have severed you from other people. The Most High said He severed us. What does it mean to sever something? Friends, if you was in a bad car accident, oh, huh? if you was in a bad car accident, they say, man, uh, you severed. He, he severed his arm in a car accident. What does it mean? What happened to his arm? And he severed his arm. What's the word "severed" mean? You know. Got cut off. Oh, God said he severed us from other nations. We're not the same as everybody else. We might look similar to some people. Because matter of fact, at one point in time, everybody on the earth was black. That's why you can look at the Arabs, you can find black Arabs. You can look at the East Indian with the red dot, and a lot of them are pretty dark skinned, right? Everybody at one point in time was black. So we had that in common at one point, but we're different. That's what God said. That was it on there? Oh, keep going. And I've severed you from other people that ye should be mine. He cut us off from all these other nations. We all created the same. We got blood, right? We got skin. We got hair, right? Senses. But we're different from everybody else. That's what the Bible says. You know, Deuteronomy 76. I'm going to show you how special we is, though. Because these other nations, man, they want to keep us at the bottom. They love when we're in the midst of sin. Matter of fact, you ever seen Paternity Court or heard of World Star Hip Hop? Paternity court. You, you know what that oh, that's is. All, what's her name? The lady up there on the side. Yeah, she, she do one too. Yeah, yeah right down oh, the street, right? Jerry Springer. Yeah. Jerry oh. Springer, right? Oh. All these they, all these other nations are making money off of us being in sin. They got they getting ratings for this type of thing. Uh oh. Keep going. I'm gonna show you that in all Deuteronomy 28. Let's keep going. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Remember, holy just means separate. You're holy. You're separate to the Lord your God. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. God chose us, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God chose you to be a special people. You're the chosen people of God. As right unto himself above all people. The so-called black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, you're above all people on the face of the earth. As 
Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.